Hey, before you do your buckle, before you do your alpha belt buckle, I want you just to have, have your Go. alpha belt through your blouse and just have it hanging there, you understand? Yes, yes. I will give you your alpha belt loop, you understand that? Awesome. Awesome. Yes, the way it's conducted is the, the, the recruits spend as much time as possible getting their uniforms and the squad bay and everything uh, cleaned and ready and pressed and all that. On game days, all the drill instructors, the third hats, whatever, get together. They go around there with what's called the detail inspectors. They go through and they do all the, the fine nitpicking questions and whatnot. Virginia, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I guess we didn't clean our weapon, did we? Awesome. We didn't take the parts out to make sure our weapon was clean, right? No, sir. Disgusting thing. Awesome. This crap weapon. Yes, sir. Awesome. See, sir. Really? Really? Yes. That's still not holding out of the weapon, right? No, sir. Let go! Awesome. Okay, I know you grabbed the small sock. Sir, this group's weapon zero number one zero two seven. That was uh, uh, an interesting uh, interpretation uh, of the section. Uh, because they're nervous, they you know they get excited. They they forget movements that they know very well. They get so you put somebody in front of them that they don't know, and they they basically they have a brain dump and they forget uh, all they've been learning for the past you know, almost sixty days. Uh, overall, the uh, company was uh, impressed with the uh, overall performance of the entire company, not just uh, between 8 going into training day 48 they actually did become third phase so they actually uh, they get a red rag now a red guide on and that signifies tells everybody on the base that they are third phase because it's red so the guide now carries around a red flag so you see that transition from first and second where he's still really that civilian third phase I mean he's, he's always getting to that mentoring phase where yeah it's starting to come out you're starting to see that marine you know, that marine starting to come out of him this week basically in a nutshell is the uh, Recruits first indoctrination into uh, any kind of field environment, sleeping out in the field, eating MREs on a regular basis, and just not having those comforts that a squad bay or uh, back home provide. When, uh, when, we, when we start off, friggin', um, the heavies will be up here, spread out throughout the course. I don't care whoever's gonna take the wall, who's gonna be like beyond the culverts, spread out, be out throughout the course. We'll friggin', once the heavies, friggin', once the kids get past here, we'll get up and we'll move down there to where the friggin', they rush again past the second half of the course. Just your Kevlar and your face better be inside the on dirt as you freaking low crawl. Do you understand? Let me let me catch one of you lifting up your freaking head. We're gonna have freaking problems. You understand? Now open your mouth. The uh, objective of uh, basic warrior training is to evaluate each recruit successfully in uh, the basic understandings of the fundamentals of. Uh, maneuver under fire, combat formations, hand and arm signals, um, day movement, the, the day movement course, and uh, the night movement course. Uh, the day movement course is an obstacle, it's an exercise that we use to help recruits understand what it might be like in a combat situation. Uh, there's a lot of different obstacles going on, not just physically, but mentally as well. Faster, crawl faster! 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 Uh, the training is really is, is very realistic. I know today we're fighting an urban war, uh, so it's not so much that we're in the tree line and we're on the ground as we were in, in, in Vietnam, but uh, the training is still realistic because the, the environment will still be the same. The fog of war, that, uh, that cloud, that dust, the smoke, the debris of the battlefield, all that is realistic. All that is happening right now in Afghanistan and in Iraq. You got a it's combat mindset. Drag him off the court. Yes, Grab him by the bitch, you just died. You're dead. You just got shot. Uh, sir. You're done. No, get down. Uh, get down. Now drag him off the court. Drag him. Uh, Your buddy just got shot in combat. Now uh, get him off the freaking way. Uh, the training is very strenuous. Uh, it's, it's physically strenuous. It's uh, mentally uh, strenuous. 
and uh, emotionally too. Get to the watch. Oh, Bro, get to the watch. Oh, With all the the haze that the drill instructors try to create and make it as realistic as possible uh, by us putting a lot of stress on the recruits, I think for them it's it's exhausting. He's bleeding. Take him get to the out. torment. Get, get him out of the get him out. Get him out. Get him out. The drill instructors create an environment for them to feel a, a, a sense of urgency, to feel pressure, to feel stressed, and I think that's what makes the training even that much better. The night movement course is pretty. It's very similar to the day movement course. Uh, however, it's a it's a more tactical it's a more tactical environment. They have to maintain silence. Uh, in the daytime, there's a lot of yelling, there's a lot of screaming, there's a lot of movement on the fire. At night, they're strictly the focus is to strictly be on uh, re being as tactical and as silent as fo as possible in order to be a successful move to the course. Get the casualty out of freaking them trash right now. Get him up. Get the, get the cops the other kills her. Get me out of here! Help! Help! Get me out of here! Help! Help! Uh, at this stage or this phase in recruit training, um, they're at a mature uh, at a mature state, a mature phase. Uh, they've they've pretty much grown. Right now, they're in phase three. It's, a, it's an observation phase where we get to see what we, what all the all the training that they've done throughout recruit training. We get to see the the, the outcome of it. Uh, it involves a lot of field training. It involves a lot of them doing things more on their own. My impression of them is that they've definitely come a long way. Uh, they are a younger group. They're a little bit more immature than the groups that we get in the winter. But I mean, that will come a time. You can tell the difference between when they got here and now, and, and how they respond and how they act and whatnot. They have a, you know, a better understanding of how the Marine Corps works now. As drone started, we've seen them grow. We've seen them work well together. They're starting to work in fire teams. They, work, they know, understand what a fire team is. They understand that they need to know the recruit to the left and the right of them, as Marines do to the left and the right. Um, they get the concept of, of working together in buddy pairs. They get that teamwork concept, and it ties into to them uh, accomplishing the mission. Five road road. From last time. Keep it tight. I said run, guys. The training objective of BWT is just to get them a starter into, you know, the low crawls and the movement under fire and whatnot. The primary objective of the crucible is okay, now you're going to do all these missions, but now you have lack of food and lack of sleep. It's a 54-hour mission, and they get a total of, between the two nights, only four hours of sleep. Chow is on you, do we understand that? Yes, sir! Chow, water, everything is on you, do we understand that? Chow, son! Show me the bathroom! Get out! 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 Get out!